Today we are making a video on Debian 12. I already made a Debian 12 videos on the KDE desktop, GNOME desktop and other desktop environments. Just a few desktop environments left. So Debian 12 was released like a few days ago. So here is other desktop environment. So in order to boot it in a live boot, you just need to click on live system AMD 64 bit. And these are all the other options. Let's uh, quickly boot it in a live boot. Again, if you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe. I'll be posting like a two videos daily. So you don't want to miss that. It's going to take a few more seconds to boot up uh, because it usually takes like a minimum of 30 seconds or maximum of uh, a minute. And this is also a stable release. So if you want to try it, you can try it on your own. Uh, it's always a better option to live boot first then go with the installation to your hard disk. If you want to install it on your main PC or work PC, it's always a better option to live boot. So this is a new theme or the new uh, welcome screen or the wallpaper you get. It's going to take a few more seconds and we should be having our desktop layout completely loaded. So I already posted a uh, Debian 12 videos so if you want to uh, watch that video so you can search it in my channel just type in Debian 12 in the uh, search which will be below the uh, my channel so I think it's almost done I guess just a few more seconds it took like almost like uh, 30 seconds already still waiting almost 40 seconds 40 42 seconds like that still no sign of uh, desktop environment or the desktop loaded completely here is our desktop it almost took like a 55 seconds and this is a xfc desktop environment i forgot to mention that and i'm running it on a vmware which is a virtualization so let's quickly change the display resolution first because it looks pretty odd right now. Let's go to the display settings under system. There is no settings in the system. You should be seeing here at the settings. I forgot that. Sorry, I slept a lot today. I was tired. So let's quickly change the display resolution to 1920 into 1080. Click on apply. Keep this configuration. So let's first open the uh, task manager to see how much of resources are consuming right now. It's always a common uh, RAM consuming in the XFC desktop environment. Whatever the distro is, if the XFC desktop environment is in it, it will be around like a 1.1 GB or 1.2 GB. XFC is a lightweight desktop environment and LXQT, LXDE, these are all the lightweight desktop environments. So it will be under like a 500 MB, 600 MB in LXQT or LXDE and 1.1 GB or 1.2 GB in the XFC desktop environment. So right now process running right now are 275 and the CPU is around 30 to 40 percent. This is the common or the usual uh, resource consuming in the XFC. So these are all the process. I'm going to open the uh, task manager after opening all the applications uh, we should see the task manager and i'm going to open the task manager at the end of the video because you should be having an idea of how much of resources will be it consumes after running apps and uh, during the apps running also i will be opening the task manager so these are all the resources consuming right now so let's close it and open the terminal and uh, type in few commands to get the distro information for example inxi dash sv8 command not found so let's type in cat colon slash etc colon slash issue hit enter it's a debian new linux 12 so let's type in new fetch if it's available or pre-installed not installed so let's see the kernel version it's a 6.1 0.0-9 this is the kernel version so let's uh, exit this thing 
before that we will sh we should check the terminal info which is a 1.0.4 this is the version of the terminal so let's exit first and uh, let's go to the internet and launch the firefox web browser and i'm going to show you how to download the debian 12 live boot or the live iso file it's a good idea to download the live iso file because you can test it first and then if you're satisfied go with the installation so here is our firefox loaded so let's first check the version of the firefox web browser it should be triple one no it's a 102.11 i think you can update it so let's uh, type in the debian as the search term which will take us to directly to the uh, link or the official website this is the website which is uh, debian.org i'm using a vpn so it will be a bit slow there so you can directly click on download here uh, for the iso file it's not a, a live iso file so here is the release note if you want you can read it i already made a video on gnome 43 kd plasma mat and uh, i think uh, some other desktop environment i forgot that sorry so these are all the uh, new things like uh, inkscape game these are all the updated versions so i'm going to show you how to download it so let's go back you can directly click on download so here is the iso file so in order to go with the uh, live boot you need to go to the getting debian click on getting debian so here are other options uh, for the iso file like the complete installation image cloud image all other options small installation image we need to go with the complete installation image you, you even have the torrent uh, files here if you want you can do that so these are all the uh, available links download cd image using http go with the stable release this is a 700 mb and this is a 4.7 m uh, 4.7 gb so let's click on amd64 so this is a complete dvd iso file so let's go to the parent directory and again and again until you see 12.0.0 dash live or current live you can choose anything let's go with the 12.0.0 live amd64 again iso hybrid so these are all the live iso files so let's quickly change the uh, sort of the size so as you can see it's a 3.4 gb and all the available uh, desktop environments of the debian 12 are here kd plasma gnome cinnamon matte I, I made a video on KDE, GNOME, Cinnamon and Matte desktop environment. Today I will be making XFCE and LXQT. So in order to download you just need to click on the XFCE file and the download will be started. So that's the uh, small tutorial of how to download the live boot of a Debian 12. So we already saw the release note and we show, I, saw, uh, I showed you the our downloading process also so let's close it and let's go to the installation process i'm not going to show everything uh, of the installation because it's always same the same in installation process of linux so there will be nothing difference in it i'm just going to show you the basic process it's going to take a few seconds to load up the installer or the application and you should be seeing a Calamaris installer, I guess. So here is our Calamaris installer. Let's check about 
so first you need to choose the language again this is the basic and uh, easy uh, steps in every linux distro so there is nothing different or uh, nothing complicated here and then location choose your uh, desired location you don't need to provide your actual location you can provide anything you can customize anything here click on next here is your keyboard layout choose your keyboard layout it automatically gives uh, my keyboard so choose your language click on next choose your hard disk first and then choose your option of installation process if you want to uh, delete the current operating system and uh, install the debian tool you can do that by clicking on erase disk or you can do manual partitioning for the dual booting so you need to be ha uh, having an idea of what you're doing here and uh, be careful while choosing because it's going to delete everything so if you want to encrypt your system you can encrypt by providing the password in the boxes which should be same in this uh, both the boxes so and here is the bootloader location i'll choose the master boot record you can choose it uh, and uh, do that later if you want click on next you need to provide your username and password for the sake of the video i'm just going to put random things and for the sake of the video i'm just i'll give you the simple password you need to provide the strong password and write down the password because uh, if you forgot you can even type it so clicking on next will give you the summary these are all the process or the uh, steps which i uh, made in the previous uh, installation process so i choose the los angeles as the time zone american english as language keyboard layout all the things which we choose uh, in the previous steps so that's uh, after you satisfied you just need to click on install it's going to take like a few more minutes and uh, you should be having your uh, debian tool installed on your work pc or vmware virtual box whatever you choose so that's the installation process let me close this thing and uh, let's go to the all the desktop features and check out all the desktop features like a uh, panels about panels add new items panels preferences these are all some of the customization things so it's clearly up to you to customize anything you want you can customize anything here so let's close it so these are all the basic things nothing changed just the apps have been updated nothing more than that i guess volume internet connection language let's quickly open some of the apps and see the uh, task manager process so let's see how much uh, of the apps uh, does debian 12 handle without uh, getting freezed or uh, laggy about xfc under system let's launch like a tuner file manager task manager and again the Snaptic package manager under the multimedia a media player a volume controller the internet we just uh, we just have the firefox web browser let's open the image viewer let's open the library office document viewer dictionary i think we've opened like uh, 10 12 apps i guess so we still could let's open appearance also under education i think we are good it's still running properly without no lag and the processes are 268 cpu is around like a uh, almost 95 percent and the memory or the ram is almost a 1.7 gb which is pretty good if you ask me even after opening uh, 10 apps or 12 apps like that it will barely touch like a 2.2 gb uh, because they're not uh, big apps like a uh, gimp or the blender inkscape like that we just have a common apps so the task manager is like this as you can see here so let's uh, close all the things let's first check the version 
of every app 1.26.0 let's close this and let's check about the library office version uh, 7.4.5.1 so let's even close this thing and uh, this is a notepad let me type in my channel url youtube.com forward slash 9 to 5 linux this is my channel url if you want to subscribe you can subscribe so let's check the version of uh, mousepad this is the version let me close this payroll media player version will be a 4.16.0 let me close that also volume controller again this is the basic uh, settings you can go through all the things if you want let me close that thing image viewer uh, it is Rito 0.12.4 keep an eye on the uh, CPU and RAM CPU and RAM sorry Snaptic package manager 0.91.3 I guess this is the latest version let me scroll down the installed version will be highlighted with the green box and the installed version will be uh, like this here so let me quickly scroll it down you should be seeing some of the apps installed there or the packages installed if you want you can slow it down in the youtube by going to playback speed change the playback speed to 0.25 you should be seeing it in slow motion so it's going to take a lot of time so that's the reason i quickly scroll it down so tuner file manager let me close this thing also xfc desktop environment all the information is here and the appearance some of the themes icons fonts settings let's close this also last one is uh, dictionary let's check about dictionary 0.8.4 so i think we covered everything and as you can see the memory and the cpu went down again uh, because we closed every app so this is the uh, system resource consuming so it's clearly up to you to choose this uh, desktop environment or not so it's a lightweight whether you can choose the xfc lxqt lxd these are three are the uh, lightweight desktop environments so i think that's it for the video again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out